It is cold today in Reno, but the weatherman's calling for 70 degrees with light and variable winds over in Red Bluff. So we're gonna buzz over the hill to Red Bluff. Hey dude, so you know, yeah. Six foot, man. For you, 12 feet, buddy. We just got down to the Sac River. I linked up with Quinn and Sean on the way over. And we uh, had a pretty good headwind up high, but if we were down low, it was like no wind or even a tailwind. So we decided to follow this canyon and we put ourselves in a canyon that I think we all kind of like five minutes into it, we're like, ooh, I don't know if I love this. <laughs> Biting our fingernails. <laughs> but made it over, it's nice out. Some of the other guys are coming, see what we can get into. I had not heard the megaphone before that. That's awesome. That good, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I woke a lot of people up on Christmas morning. Did you? 6 a.m. It was dark. We hit probably 20, 30 houses. Every way we know. Yeah. How's it going, Trent? Good. All right, we are going to go do some river bar hopping. Looks like there's more people joining right now. Tyler's here. So let's go play. Is that you, Trent? You see him landing right now to the north of you. I'm on the ground. I'm just rolling right now. As soon as you get airborne, you'll be looking for a windmill and you'll see us down on the ground. Bryce is getting his airplane out. See that pond. Once you're over the pond area, you'll be clear of power lines. Yeah, just watch the power lines is all you, you know, I crossed right over that last pole. Hey, should I watch out for these power lines in here? We shut down to talk with uh, Bryce. I need to shove his airplane out. I'm not going to shut down. Cool spot. Super cool. Yeah, it's fun going over the power lines like that. You know, I was looking for those power lines. I just couldn't figure out where they were. Are we going to hit postage stamps? Yeah, we better hit post stamp, huh? Oh, it's a good day for it today. It'd be a slam dunker. Something about that name makes me think it must be short. Okay. Quarter mile final post stamp. So what if we have enough room for all of it? <laughs> yeah, that one is short. That's awesome. Yeah, that might be above my pay grade. Remember that's deep water in front. We don't want to get too slow on the water if we use water. Come around the corner. Perfect, Trent. It's a cool spot. It's a cool spot, it's huh? Called? Post stamp. Post stamp. Post stamp. It's like 200 feet. We had like, I don't know, five on the nose and yeah, yeah able to get all of us. Tehama County again. Yeah. The only place where you can get fish on your plane and cow <laughs> all at the same time. <laughs> Very true. Up north, huh? Yeah. I'm That's down. the best thing, into the wind, baby. I love the tail wheels out in the water. Get that guy turned on. And we're back in the air. Yeah, like get real slow and Trent, maybe do a pass, it's shorty. It looks short and side hill, you, you got a little rowdy there, I liked it. Oh, it's just real fun. I didn't see you guys, I gotta get down. Ha <laughs> ha!
all line up on this bluff. This is pretty rad. It's beautiful over here. Which way did you guys land? Just straight in? Straight in. Yeah, the wind's not bad. Alright, I'll follow you, Trent. All right, this is a fun one. Came right over this embankment, which do not short. Landed right up there, taxi back, park with the river view. driving right off that cliff edge. Man, this one's got a lot of good sized rocks, the one I'm on. Yeah, this is pretty good rock here, huh? I'm gonna go to the end down here, we can take off that way. Cool rocks to park into anyway. Makes it look like a cool picture. We're on Tyler Bar. Tyler Bar. So Decent sized rocks here. I mean, got bush wheels, <laughs> or what Mall says, Mall guy says got rocks. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do our best Greg Miller impersonation. Go <laughs> load up in the cub. Go land somewhere cool. In all honesty, though, before I was ever making any of these videos, I used to buy the big rocks, long props videos, and Greg is now posting on YouTube, so I'll put a stud. link below. It's rad. Yeah, it's all his like archive of old stuff, and he does. I mean, this is like this would be sand beach to him, but yeah, this is like Pebble Beach. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll put a link to his uh, channel up here and down below, so go check him out. Check out Quinn too, because. He wants it to. <laughs> okay, there's several areas we can all get on here. Uh, and it is very steep at the top of the hill, guys. So if you're full of fuel, it's not, not wise, because it'll just drain out. Is it flat up top? Negative. You gotta get turned around. It feels like you're gonna tip over. And if I whip around, can I turn my parking brake on and park up there? Yep. Oh, there's a dead cow. It's fun, it is steep, but it's nice. You to get your drone out? I can, yeah. It's up to you. I'll just loiter for a second. Yeah, some neat footage here. Yeah, I like that I could fly down a canyon and link up with you, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut down. These things are super rad. You see me use them a little bit, but I think I'm gonna start integrating them more, these FPV or cinematic FPV quads. But I need to get a, a faster one. This one runs on four cells, like 14 volt, 
and uh, I really need to go six cell at like 25 volt. These things are cool. They're uh, all digital stabilization, so it's not done. There's no gimbal, there's no mechanical stabilization. It's all done after the fact, and you fly them off the video feed, so you're watching that little tiny camera above the GoPro. That's your field of view, and they are a handful. They are not like DJI drones that have GPS and auto level and all that. These are fully manual, full aerobatic, everything. They are difficult. They're like the exact opposite of designing a website with Squarespace. I wish this thing had award-winning templates and 24-7 customer support, but that is one thing it does not have or features for every industry. This thing is literally the epitome of the opposite of Squarespace. It is super hard, super finicky, and very difficult. So as you guys have heard before, anyone that's interested in building their own website or even buying a domain name, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to purchase, go to squarespace.com slash Trent Palmer, get you 10% off. <laughs> Look at his baggage stores open. <laughs> Is your dog going skydiving? <laughs> yes. Hey, wait, I go. Is that a dark spot or his door's open? <laughs> it's an escape hatch, bud. Yeah. Got a little broke boot problem here. What'd you do? Break the chains. I don't know what the deal is. Every time I come play with these guys, it's like this kind of gloomy overcast, but the weather is like perfect. It's like 70 degrees, light and variable wind, and it's cool enough that it's still thick air. It's just too much fun. Mr. Brand new bolt. There's our old one. In of his field. You know, on his farm, a lucky charm made all the cash crops you. And then one July, Uncle Sam came by and he shot that farmer down. And Mr. Clare had not declared all the cash crops in his ground. I stopped recording right before I landed. That was silly. And Roy. Cause there's always someone Pull it on, pull it on, pull it on See, so look around and what y'all see Cause everybody tied down some degree We like links upon In endless chain Someone's got to pull our reins Cause then look Oh, that looks short, man. There's two ways to go. You can land along the water. It's a lot longer. In endless chain, someone's got to pull our reins. Well, now someone's got to pull our reins. Dr. Lee has a family in a nice house in the hills. The money in his pool, he uses it to drown in bills. That one's a little sporty. That's downhill. Isn't that beautiful? Right on. We got Trent on. That one I thought I might short for a second. I've been here before, it's a cool one. Quinn almost shorted it too. We all the gears on a fixed machine. Come on, come sit. You too, man. Yeah, we do. Thanks for All right. A little fuel here at Red Bluff, and we're heading home. So my uh, tailwheel has been dry rotting and cracking, and every once in a while it'll go flat. It went flat, and this time it's not taking any air. It's not a safety issue, but I'm going to try to taxi as much as I can tail up so I don't have to uh, uh, deal with damaging it. Hey, Red Bluff traffic. Flight for three. Departing northbound, three three, Red Bluff. Roll right in and roll right out. I'm not here long in this here town. I'm passing through, but I gotta be gone soon. I'm a, I'm a no rule. Right, just made it home safe and sound with a flat tail wheel. So I noticed that this thing was flat when we were at Red Bluff, looked at one of the clips from before it from my buddy's phone and realized, oh, I popped that earlier. I've had issues with this tail wheel before and we did everything we could trying to get the bead to seat and get that thing to stick back on, but it's just dry rotted. So <laughs> that's why I did the wheelie to take off, wheelied all the way to here and set the tail wheel down. So. Now I am uh, on a mission to get a new, at least tire, if not a whole new tailwheel.
Anyway, even with a flat tail wheel tire, that was an awesome day. I'm gonna go ahead and you know carry the tail and put her back away. And uh, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. You guys know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Come be my wingman. See you on the next one. Peace.